Hey Blue Jays, it's time for another episode of Blue Jay Journal TV. Today we'll talk about how social media affects our purchases. Emma George brings us a story about the updated tardy policy at WHS and we will learn more about the expansion of Washington and how that affects its residents. We have all these stories and more, but first let's start with some announcements. The Community of Washington Scholarship will be available in Naviance on February 1st. Juniors that will be seniors next year need to have their meningitis A vaccine and turn it into the nurse's office. If you are interested in joining Newspaper, Yearbook, or Blue Jay Journal TV, you can pick up an application in Ms. Robertson's room 1310. Applications are due February 8th. Friends Club is having a Valentine's Day pizza party after school February 14th. See Madame Riley in room 1504 for the pizza order forms. The forms are due February 9th. All are welcome. If you are interested in purchasing a yearbook, there is $60. You can order online or bring cash or check to Ms. Robertson's room, 1310. Leadership class applications for next year are available outside room 2504 and 2313 and are due by February 8th. Our reporters bring us a story about how social media can influence us to buy into certain trends. With the continued rise of different social media platforms, people are more influenced than ever to follow certain trends. When we see these social media trends and kids especially engaging in them, um, it's their way of trying to fit in. We will follow trends and in like some cases in a smaller way we follow like what to wear. I just see cute stuff and then I buy it off like Instagram or like any of the websites like on TikTok. I see someone wearing something and I just buy it. Following trends in general makes us feel as if we belong. We want to belong to a group and if doing this trend helps me fit into a group that I think I want to belong in, then I'm going to do it. WHS students explain the trends they follow. My favorite product I've bought is probably Rare Beauty Blush. Some of my favorite products that I bought that I've been influenced to buy is probably a Stanley Liquid Blush and a Lulu Vest. Kids want to follow these trends simply because they want to fit in. Maybe they're looking for their 15 minutes of fame. I mean, I'm still looking for mine, um, and I'm not a kid. So um, I think it's just more about human nature. Favorite influencer is Alex Earl. My favorite influencers are Hannah Harrell and Alex Earl on TikTok because I look at all their outfits, and I like when I wake up, I look at their TikTok, and then I pick out my outfit. For Blue Jay Journal TV, this is Presley Kaiser reporting. As the city of Washington continues to expand, our reporters took a look at what that might mean for residents. We want to grow. Any community needs to grow. Uh, you've probably heard the term, if you're not growing, you're, you're dying. But we also need to maintain who we are as Washington. The expansion of Washington has been happening for years now and is leading to explosive growth around the city. What provides the explosive growth is mainly job creation and we are creating jobs a lots of smaller jobs and that's been the strategy of the city for a long time i think two to three percent growth over year to year to year is a good thing uh, anything approaching five or more is not good took a citizen survey at the beginning of 2019 i believe it was found out everything people wanted to see basically the survey told us they didn't necessarily want anything big and fancy, they just wanted a new pool. With the updated city pool, more residents have come to Washington because of the expansion of the city. Washington has 17 public parks and adores its green spaces. However, green spaces are dwindling due to the residential construction around town because of the rising population. There's been a lot of talk about not having enough green space to the east of town. You've got Stonecrest, and there's more developments that are going to swing around that. You know, unless you want to drive 15 minutes from the outskirts of Stonecrest to the city park, you know, everybody needs green space that's readily available. We know that. There's kind of a contradiction between green spaces and providing a single family affordable home to the folks in Washington. Um, as much as we'd like to, like to have green space too, we also have to try and make use of every square foot that we can in order to provide an affordable project. We're, we're struggling to keep up, to keep lots in front of us that we can develop, to have approval to develop. We do have somewhat of a backlog of homes to be built currently. Probably the largest backlog we've had. Numerous projects have been completed since 2019 to ensure the success of the city and make sure its citizens are satisfied. Mr. Dunker shares his experience over the past four years. I was a little surprised at the number of projects that have been 
dealing with in four years because it's quite a long list of things we have accomplished and we still got a long list to go yet though. For Blue Jay Journal TV, this is Matthew Freitag reporting. Should I click on this link? It says that my Netflix account got suspended. No, that's a scam. Why would you do that? Look, a flying pig out the window. Wait, where? I don't see it. Look at this. I can get a Stanley Cup 75% off off this website. I've never seen that before. I think that's a scam. Look, Taylor Swift dead at 33. What? Are you joking? Look at this. Some business reached out to me and they want me to model their product. I've never even heard of that business. Stop being so gullible. Have good judgment. Don't be gullible. Molly Bauer recently visited the homestead at Hickory View to hear from residents about what advice he would give to high school students. Never give up. <laughs> just keep fighting. Regardless if you're down or what, just keep going. Patience is a virtue. Get all the training they can in whatever field they think they want to get into after high school. To be yourself, to be yourself, don't be easily, um, 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 you know, listening to the crowd and going along with it. Listen and you'll be coming in there, but have your own eye, what you're taught at home, and go from there. For the guys, don't spend all your time Chasing the pretty girls. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> WHS recently updated an existing tardy policy to implement some needed changes. Emma George takes us to see what it might look like for some students. I am a member of a committee here in the building. We call ourselves the Committee on Multi-Tiered Systems of Support. Um, there's a committee in every building across the district. My role um, was really just being one of those committee members who went and asked teachers what are a few things that we could do here in the building to make this a better place for everyone. One thing that every single one of those groups in every department came back and said was we need to do something about tardies. Just to make sure that students are in the classroom and getting the education that you all deserve. Obviously if you're not in a classroom and you're here and you're supposed to be at school then we don't know where you are and you're unaccounted for and that's just not safe. The biggest thing we do is make sure that everyone, all 1300 of you that walk in the door every day, has a safe place to go and that you're in an environment where you're cared for. You gotta be in class to be learning. Students of Washington High School share their opinions on the new tardy policy. Oh, I don't think the tardy policy will change anything really. I think it's just because, you know, people are gonna be doing the same things. Now that people are getting in trouble for being tardy, people aren't gonna be tardy as much. I think there will be less because people are scared they're gonna get detention. I feel like no one really has motivation to get to class. The tardy policy has been implemented across the Washington School District since the beginning of second semester. Mr. Strouser gives us insight on how it's been affecting our high school so far. Well, what I'm looking for is for students to be in classes, and I've already seen it. We are roughly a week into it right now as you and I sit and talk, and there have been very few detentions. When the bell rings for first hour, students are in class doing the Pledge of Allegiance. There isn't a big line outside my office full of students with McDonald's and Excel. 11 cups trying to sign in late. We're prioritizing because you know, everyone knows that class is where they need to be. We want students to have the best education that we can possibly provide for them and if you're in the class as much as possible then that gives us more of a chance to do that. If that means I have to have a couple extra conversations or pick up the phone a couple extra times, I'll do that and I'll gladly do it. If it means it gives you an opportunity to gain some more information and gives you another step up on your quest to wherever you're headed. From Blue Jay Journal TV, this is Emma George reporting. We took to the halls of WHS to ask the question, what's going to make your 2023 better than your 2022? Let's see what the students have to say. Probably club volleyball because I get to hang out with a lot of the girls and we just have a fun time together because we're traveling. To go to the gym. School work and stuff your junior year is really hard, so just ending it well and starting my senior year well. So like staying more clean. I'm going to work out more. I'm going to be more responsible. I'm going to make my 2023 better than my 2022 because I'm going to focus more on dance and I'm going to work harder, um, probably work out more, um, but really just work on my technique and take separate classes. To eat healthier. 
I'm gonna have more fun this year and hang out with my best friends. Thank you for watching our show. For more news and views from WHS and our community, visit www.bluejayjournal.com. Have, have a great, great weekend, weekend Blue Jays! Jays.